This is E. Wilson, The Conversator from the JTC Exchange Radio Show. We are coming to you live from Houston, Texas at uh, Riceville Mount Olive Baptist Church uh, for the Power of the Resurrection concert, Hymns for Him uh, by V. Michael McKay and Yolanda Adams. And I have the privilege of having with me Reverend Trudy Whitaker Huff, who has come originally from Raleigh Dorm, North Carolina, a small city in between there somewhere. But welcome to Houston tonight. How are you doing? Excellent, excellent. Just happy to be here tonight. Wonderful. Praising God all the way. Right, I'm talking about she ain't waiting to get inside. She's doing it right now. So let me ask you this, um, Reverend Trudy. Um, would you think this is the power of the resurrection concert? You know, we know Easter Sunday is next Sunday, but we know the resurrection is 365 days a year, 24 hours a day. When you think about the power of the resurrection, what does that mean to you personally? Personally, it means to me is every single day I'm able to get up, pick up the cross, and follow Jesus because of what he has already done and what he's doing right now and for even that what he's going to do. So I praise God for the power because when I'm at my weakest and I remember to build myself up in him, I know that everything is already under the blood. And all I need to do is go forward in him, listening to him, acknowledging him, and allowing him to shine through me so that others can be blessed and get just a taste of what he's doing for me. So it's an awesome experience to understand the power. All right, I, I have to ask you this now. I have to ask you this. How does um, that power help you because you shared about how you work with hospice patients you know and I know all about that um, how, how does that um, keep you ahead of the game if I can say that from an East Coast standpoint ahead of the game uh, as far as maybe those who work in that field who don't have Jesus what's the real difference there the real difference is that you know we were taught to give life we were taught to encourage one another. We were taught to our families, our children are born and raised and go to school and do everything under the sun. But we are not taught that when it comes down to having a personal relationship with Jesus, you need that for everything you do. And for those people who don't have it with what I do, my job is to go to help walk them through whatever it is they're going through, but ultimately to point them to the bread of life. And when they are pointed to the bread of life, they get a wonderful sense of knowing that when I leave this earthly realm, I'm going someplace. And the good thing is we weep, we cry, but it's not without hope because we know that because we believe in Jesus, we'll see our loved ones going on ahead of us. But those people who don't have that, they don't have any hope. They don't have anything to reach for. They don't have anything to strengthen them on the long journey that they face called, you know, we're going to die. We're going to shed this body. So I think for those people who don't have hope, you know, I would love to be that person, that seed planted there to help them seek the Lord out so that they can get that kind of hope that they need. And it helps their loved ones who's coming up behind them to have something to look forward to. So it, it gets to be hard for them. But for me, it helps me because my ultimate thought is when I'm with a saint that goes on to be with the Lord, my, my whole thought is as the tears roll down my cheek, I look and say, Lord, could I be that much close in your presence when you come to bring a loved one home? It's an awesome experience. Just knowing as bad as things can be, it's all right because that power is so appropriate. And then when we look at what we're doing today, the songs that are being sung today, music can help usher us into the presence of the Lord as well as it takes us back to say, my God, look at how far God has brought us. Where would I be without him? What, what would I be doing? So it is really, really, mm, when I think about the power, my, 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 my tagline is in his presence. When I get to send a note out or send a word of encouragement out, my tagline, in his presence, because I know that if I can keep myself focused to stay in his presence, he's with me all the time. Thank God for the Holy Spirit and what he has done. And that's 18 and a half years as a hospice chaplain. There's no way I could do what I'm doing without being called to do it. I, I just praise God for it. 
it's like I'm going in here now, I'm ready to jump and shout and get my shout on and just continue to praise him and celebrate. So I'm, I'm grateful for the power. It's awesome for me. And for those that don't have it, you need to get it. Well, y'all heard it right here in Houston, Texas. Now, before we let you go, Reverend, give the people your information, how, how they can get a hold of you, how, the, how those that will see this can call you or, or email you and get an encouraging word because it's nothing like an encouraging word coming from somebody who really has life on the inside of them. Amen. Uh, you can reach me at twhuff at aol.com. You can call me 713-515-4861 and let me help you as you help me, as we encourage each other to be in his presence, because that's where the power is. Well, there y'all heard it right here from uh, where we are. I, 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 I forgot where we are. Houston. That's right. We're in Houston at uh, Riceville, Riceville, Mount Olive Baptist Church. Reverend, thank you so much for your time and stopping by and sharing that word of encouragement. Thank you for having me. God bless you. All right, all right, right, right here. Uh, what our pastor done messed me up right here. I'm the conversator. That's right. E. Wilson, you want more information on the JTC Exchange, go to www.jtc, the letter exchange.org. Remember, if you're going to have a conversation, make it a good one. We're out. Just